So part of loving yourself is having the courage and the confidence and the clarity you need for you to do things that God has called you to do so that you can be who God has called you to be. So moving beyond self-care and self-love and thinking about just you know, affirmations or pedicures or drinking your wine. As we continue to move forward, you got to also think about that as a woman. If you love yourself that much, then even when things get hard or uncomfortable or uneasy, you're able to push through it. So that's why today I want to talk about loving yourself enough to step outside of your comfort zone and do what's necessary to position you to move to your next level. So I want to teach you a four-step acronym with the word STEP, S-T-E-P, that you can begin to think about that can help you push through whatever it is that you feel like might be holding you back or that's held you back in the past so that you can position yourself to get to where you need to go. So the S in step is stop having this mindset that you can't deal with stuff when it feels uneasy or uncomfortable. Because I'm sorry, but anything that's worth it that's on the other side, there is going to be some uncomfortability. There's going to be some uneasiness. Think about when you have a baby and somebody's going through the delivery process. It's painful. It is messy. You're exposed and it just doesn't feel good. And when God's rising you to a next level, he's always going to take you through elimination, preparation, and manifestation. And that elimination face it's not going to always feel good but think about when you have a baby on the other side you get the joy and it's like oh you're here but you still your body feels still might not feel all amazing and all of that but you still get to the other side the same is true whenever you're being pushed to go to the next level or to reclaim something that's yours because you've been giving so much of yourself away so the next letter is t and that's tap into god simply say god i surrender it all to you but i also need you i need your help i need your support send me the resources and tools that i need so i can go to this next level Next is the E, and that is evaluating the positive outcomes on the other side of any situation. If you think about, okay, I'm going to get my husband if I leave this zero who I don't really need, or I'm going to get make more money if I move out of this job and do this, think about the positives on the other side. And then the P is to push through it. Even when you're uncomfortable, if you can push through it and get to the other side, you will ultimately see why God took you through all of this to 